My name's Sarah Walsh. Uh, I play for the Matildas, striker. <laughs> and thanks for coming down to Sport for Women Day, Sarah. Why do you think it's important to support initiatives like this? Oh, I think it's very important. Um, and I, I think it's important for the athletes to get involved because, um, I mean, we were these girls at one stage and, and to see the turnout today is pretty exciting that there's so many females playing sport. But I, I do think it's important for us to be involved because um, without role models for these girls, I guess they, they don't really have too much to aspire to. And I think, yeah, I think those things are very important and um, that Sport Hydrant have, have got behind this and created a day like this, it's pretty good. And speaking of role models, how important is it for um, these young girls to see women's sport on television? Uh, it's very important. Um, I mean, a lot of girls, especially in Sydney, are growing up watching rugby league and, um, you know, I don't know how much control we actually have over that, but I think if we increase the awareness, um, I guess, with days like today and, and, and the girls can interact with their role models and, and be able to be exposed to that a lot more, um, I think it's great. But, I mean, moving forward, we do, we do need to, I guess, like you said, increase the awareness um, through the media. So, I mean, we're making small steps. But. Yeah, you would see down here in Canberra, Canberra United get a lot of um, attention from the Canberra Times. Um, you know, what's lacking in, say, Sydney, where you play um, with the media? Why isn't that happening up there, do you think? Uh, to be honest, I think, you know, we have a little more competition than, than you do in Canberra. Um, you know, we're fighting not only with, uh, you know, the Rugby League and the AFL, you know. Um, I, don't, I don't feel like the female sports work together. I, I feel like Sydney FC could probably work together with the, you know, the Sydney Swifts and um, yeah, they, you know, that could just work a lot better if we all work together. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's a little more congested up there and I think we're all vying for, for a few more positions up there. And in terms of um, what's happening in, with the W League at the moment, there's been a lot of talk from the A-League clubs about ditching their W League sides. Um, what do you have to say to that? Um, I mean... Yeah, I, I don't really know too much um, to comment, but um, from what you read in the paper, I don't know uh, if they're the true um, true opinions and thoughts of the, the A-League bosses. Uh, and I mean, and, it, and it's only a couple, so I, I can speak for Sydney FC uh, when I say that they, they hugely support the women and, and our budget has increased, um, which, which proves that. So I think that, you know, it might be one or two clubs, but overall I think that... Um, uh, as a business, these clubs see the potential in women's football and, and you only have to look at the numbers increasing to, to see that. So uh, from a business per perspective, you know, it's silly to ignore that, that much of the market. And I know it's probably not going to happen, but how would it affect you and other players and the potential for the game if there was no W League? It, yeah, it'd be, it'd be a really sad thing. I feel like we'd, uh, after taking five steps forward over the last... 10 years I feel like we'd be taking 10 back and, and it'd be pretty heartbreaking to, to see that happen um, and I mean you really everybody talks about what it's done for the Matildas and, and it's increased our depth and, and if you look at uh, I think you could easily say there's at least 30% of the Matildas have, have been um, are a product of the W League and you know the likes of Caitlin Ford and, and I feel like it's a place in, in a safe environment for them to be able to hone their skills and, and improve um, before they do head overseas. I support Sport for Women Day Ooh. because I, uh, I just think it's a great initiative. I think it's. Uh, I also think it's a great opportunity for us sportswomen to get together. We have so much in common and, and really only get to spend uh, a lot of time, you know, at, at a, a tournament like in the Olympics or, or something like that. But um, I think that uh, you know they understand how what women go through to uh, you know to get to the top. And I think someone used the word time poor, and I think that's. Uh, it's, uh, it's, I think it's important for people to understand what um, female sports people go through and I, and I just think that Sports for Women Day um, kind of captures that and, and everybody out there can um, you know, get together and celebrate you know, uh, what we achieve.